Earlier this week, Republican presidential hopeful Donald Trump picked up some endorsements from the sports field. NASCAR chairman and CEO Brian France and retired Hall of Fame driver Bill Elliott, along with three present-day drivers, Chase Elliott, Ryan Newman, and David Reagan, also plan on supporting Trump. But there seems to be some confusion as to whether Trump got NASCAR's endorsement as well. No, he didn't get NASCAR's support, just individual support. Sports leagues, teams, and organizations, as a rule, never come out to support any candidate for any race. It's just not good business because you don't want to get some customers or sponsors upset with outward political support. The game, or the race, is what should be the selling point, not the political viewpoint of a league. Sports owners donate plenty of money to political candidates, but do so privately for the most part. As Michael Jordan once allegedly said, after failing to endorse Harvey Gantt in a race against incumbent Republican Senator Jesse Helms of North Carolina, Republicans buy shoes too. And Jordan, the businessman, was not thinking about his role with the Chicago Bulls at that point. He was definitely worried about sneaker sales and what an endorsement would mean. Jordan's professional league, the National Basketball Association, did hold a big fundraiser at Madison Square Garden in the fall of 1999 for one of their own former New York Knicks forward, and one-time New Jersey Senator Bill Bradley, who is running for the Democratic nomination for President of the United States. But years later, when a former NBA player, Chris Dudley, was on the Republican line running for the governor of Oregon, the league sat it out. There was no backlash against the NBA for supporting Bradley. Individuals have the right to support whoever they want. France is supporting Trump, but NASCAR as a whole, no. There's very little upside for any sports organization to publicly endorse any candidates. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.